Hi, I'm Sarah Moser with Choices Coach. This is Christian Artist Spotlight, where I share up and coming independent Christian artists that you may not be aware of. So today I'm gonna to introduce you to Malia Nelson. She is 14 years old. She's writing her own music. She has a YouTube channel. Make sure you go subscribe. She's incredibly talented. And today she is going to be performing her song for us, Come. Now make sure you stick around for the interview afterwards. When the pain inside is just too real it Takes all you have to explain through tears This hiding that grips your heart Try to get up, but then you fall apart. No one around you understands. You feel like a fool with dirty hands. But in the end, you're left alone. to help you when you're feeling low Come all who are weary Come all the ashamed Come all who have heavy loads Come, don't be afraid He knows the hurt that we can find grace yes we can find grace come all who are weary come all the ashamed come all who have heavy loads come don't be afraid come I'll bear the Malia, thank you so much for sharing your song, Come With Us. So it's based on Matthew 11, chapter 11, verse 28. And just first off, just tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. So my name is Malia Nelson. I'm 14 year, years old and I live in North Carolina. Um, and I've also lived in Germany for three years. Um, and yeah, I love Jesus and songwriting. I've been songwriting for two years now and I picked up guitar um, at Christmas and I've played piano for maybe six years. But yeah. I mean, I, I'm first off, I'm just blown away that you're 14 
and you're writing lyrics like this. But I just want to hear you from your own perspective, tell us about like the lyrics and the message of the song and how this song came about. Like, how did you write this song? Thank you. Yeah. So last year or summer of 2019, um, my family moved back from Germany after living there for three years. And it was just a pretty stressful um, season and just a lot going on with moving and um, especially overseas. And that's where the song Come came from. That's when I wrote it. Um, And it's just kind of based around coming to Jesus for rest. um, And he's there for us to take our burdens. I definitely think that's the main purpose of the song, um, that through Jesus we can find freedom. And then it elaborates into the bridge where it just, it's all out with out of the darkness and out from the pain. He is the truth and the life and the way uh, when we call on his name. And that's just let it all go and just follow him and run to him. Um, And that's the message that I'm trying to get across with come. So my favorite line, like when I first look, when I first listened to your song come was come all you ashamed, which I just thought was so beautiful. Uh, Particularly it spoke to my heart just because when I was young, I definitely wrestled a lot with shame. Well, who am I kidding? Even even as the age that I am now, it's something that I've wrestled with. And it, it's such a unique perspective and insight into this scripture. So I just applaud that. But the other thing that just kind of blows my mind is the more that I listen to it, you know, and I feel like this is often how it is with something that is scriptural that... Uh, You can listen to the same thing or you can like read a passage in the Bible over and over and over again and still get something new out of it because it's alive. And so the more I've listened to your song, it's like these lyrics really spoke to me. You know, you try to get up, but then you fall apart. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, like at your young age, it's like you're writing these deep lyrics. I mean, that's spiritually deep. And surprising, you know, in a way that glorifies God, I think, you know, that you're writing such depth at such a young age. And then you you write this that I just thought was like so, like such a beautiful lyric. No one around you understands. You feel like a fool with dirty hands. Like, how are you writing <laughs> this depth at at your age? I mean, because I mean, it's such a message of hope, but it's also like. Wow, I just it makes me think like that you've experienced some some deep things and some pain. Yeah, it definitely, and you just pour that out to your song. Mm-hmm. When we were moving, it was definitely a very lonely point in my life, and I remember just like in our townhouse, even there was like this closet, and I would just go in there and just pray. Um, and it was it like just all the build up of moving and just all the chaos and leaving friends um that was definitely heavy but just being in God's presence and just like surrendering it to him even in a small closet just um really brought a lot of hope and I feel like that's where the song came from from um the shame and the the worry and the um just sadness to bring it to him um yeah wow I love that you had your prayer closet because before I mean now that me and my husband live in a house I have like a prayer room which is amazing like huge upgrade but (laughs) but, I mean before before we moved into a house I mean I would always just go into the closet to pray when we lived in downtown Kansas City because it was just like I needed to shut out all the distractions and uh I just think that that's beautiful that you're doing that, you know, I, or that you, you did that just because I would have never even thought to do that when I was your age, you know, it just that you have such a beautiful relationship with the Lord. And then this message that you've just poured out, I love that you said in the lyrics, it's only through Jesus that we can find grace. And then you say, we can find grace. And I like, I loved how the, the melody even just the, the second oh. time you say we can find grace that it went up because it was like, 
this is good news. Like, this is good <laughs> news. This isn't bad news because I feel like, you know, maybe in the outside world, if someone doesn't believe, they they think that for us to tell them that Jesus is the only way to find grace, they might think that that's bad news. It's like, no, no, you don't understand but we can find grace. Like, yeah, this is good news. This is great news. This is amazing news. And so I just love every single line. I just feel like this is such a beautiful message of the gospel and God's heart and the like beautiful picture that you've painted of who Jesus is. I mean, it's, it's just really, really good. And I know that you have other music on your site, you know, that you have a YouTube channel and you, I mean, it seems like you're putting out a lot of your own original music. Tell us a little bit about that and where, where else we can find your music. Yes. I love songwriting so much and I do release quite a few originals. Um, I used to like only release originals, but now I'm working on some more covers. Um, but yeah, uh, I have a YouTube channel. I recently started an Instagram page, Malia's Music. Um, that's the, the username. And also a Facebook page where I post my music. Um, uh, yeah, I typically write the melody first for my songs with the lyrics, and then I add chords to it. Um, but as I'm kind of improving my guitar skills, uh, I've noticed that I can, like, do some guitar and then add the lyrics as I'm playing guitar, which is really cool. And it like opens up a new um, way of songwriting and my songs are like slightly different and more interesting that way. Um, yeah. So you usually get the melody before you start to get the lyrics? So the or lyrics- you start with the lyrics first? I'm, yeah. I like, I think of a lyric and then it's like, how should I say that in a musical way? Like. Da, 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 da. I love avocado toast, something like that. Um. <laughs> okay, I love it. And so you kind of you kind of do both at the same time, or do you get like all your lyrics almost like you've got a poem, and then you start to figure out how to do the melody, or is it as you go? So typically it's as I go, but then. I love making psalm songs, that's what I call them, and it's just like taking a psalm from the Bible and fitting a melody to it, so in that case, like, I have the poem already there, and then I just, like, weave my way through and try to think of how it could be a song. Um, That's, like, really fun to do, but if I'm writing something from scratch, then typically, unless I do, like, a brainstorm before, I would just, like, start writing while thinking of the melodies in my head, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. I love to hear everybody's process just because, you know, I'm new to songwriting, but I, I definitely get like lyrics like crazy. And then the melody part and the musical part is like kind of I'm trying to like coax that out. <laughs> I'm still yeah. waiting on the Lord. I'm still waiting on the Lord to like help me out with that. Either that or I just need to keep doing co-writes <laughs> to finish music. I mean, I've finished some songs, but it's like, you know, I've only written two songs really completely on my own, but I've done some some co-writes and I feel like other people get the melodies and the arrangements. Co-writes are really fun because you can like have all the different um, like gifts from everyone and just like make something really beautiful. Um, Absolutely. But- so now the original songs that you've done, have they been mostly on your own or most have you done a lot of co-writes so um all basically all the ones that I have posted are or all of them are um ones that I've written but I am working on some co-writes and I'm in a songwriting band um currently and we wrote one about North Korea as a co-write and it like turned out really cool but that's not posted um and then also, with another friend of mine, we're doing a song called November Sky, which we hope to get um, get out soon. But we just finished writing that one last week, and it was really fun to make. Um, it's all about, like, autumn and fall. Um, but, yeah, mainly up until this point, I've done basically all my songs um, just on my own. Awesome. Wow. Well, you're super talented, and I just want to say thank you for doing this collaboration with me, with me and I just hope that 
people go subscribe to Malia's YouTube channel, Malia Nelson, and make sure that you follow her on Instagram under Malia's Music and like her Facebook page so that you can stay in tune, pardon the pun, (laughs) stay in tune with what she is doing because she's putting out music. And I'm just super excited, Malia, to just see where God takes you. And he's going to touch people's lives. Like you are a powerhouse. The fact that you are getting out this message of the gospel at such a, a young age. I mean, I just can't wait to see what else God has for you because your future is bright. Thank you so much, Malia, for collaborating with me. And I really enjoy your music and it's been an honor to interview you. Thank you so much. It was an honor to be here.